Mark and the Mothership, three string cigar box guitar. Yeah, there we are, there we are. So, uh, playing through my Mesa, uh, I'm playing in the dirty channel, it's not so dirty. Got a little tuner here, you know, one of these uh, TC electronics, I really like these tuners. Um, this is a song uh, called uh, Let's Get, Let's Work Together, Let's Get Together. Um, it's by Can Heat. And it has a little wonderful little trick in it, which I think is just fabulous. Um, I've kind of worked it from six string to three string. So, uh, you know, beware that there's uh, a little bit of a difference here. So it's, uh, it goes like so. song it's got a really good twist I really really like this I really really like this so this is a really cool song um, so it's in G on the album and you can uh, play along with the record in G you can also do this as a uh, so here's a clean way you like you can do it with a uh, much thinner strings it's one of these tunes that is just great for any instrument so it's a uh, G a C and a D so let's go through what our our neck looks like um, we start out at the zero fret in open G G D G so it's G G sharp A B flat B C C sharp D important chord here the C and the D see those dots right there they make it important and uh, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, and G. Um, those are the notes for the two outside strings. But this D in the middle goes D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, B flat, B, C, C sharp, and D. And these are going to be important. These, this D, the C here, all right, and this B flat are going to be important notes. Same with this G. So remember that, you know, you kind of look up here and you go, oh, okay, the two dots in the middle string, and then one above that dot right there, and then one above that dot. 
I don't necessarily look for the actual fret that I'm on. I look for location between dots, okay? And that's how I, I find what I'm looking for, okay? So, you know, if I need to be here, I just look and see two dots, pick the middle string, I just kind of feel my way, well, it ain't that one and it ain't this one, so it has to be this one. And I mentally feel my way with my finger and my mind through the strings. Because you know me, I play really low down here and I can't really see the guitar, but I can see these dots. Um, so I, if there's a lot of people out there like me that play this way and do that, that's great. If you kind of sit the guitar and turn it and look at it, then you can see the dots really well. So there's that. Um, so the song is pretty easy. It's got a little rock and roll rhythm and I'll go over that again. It's uh, just a song that does this. So it's a down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. But this rock and roll rhythm, it makes it difficult because on the second down, you press, and on the second up, you let go. So it's a... And it takes a bit of getting used to. So it's down. There's nothing wrong, seriously, with leaving it on here going, you know, um, it's, it's your personal style. You're going to have to find that path yourself. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. I, I just want to put it out there. If you go to the bar or you go to a festival or something and you see somebody going, Oh, that's not how Uncle Mark teaches it. Well, you know, you you got your own style. I want you to find your own place, you know. This is not a one-size-fits-all uh, shoe here. This is um, everything in between and all of the middle. It's no rules. You create them. But the, th but the thing about rules is you have to have a... Uh, you have to start out with some rules before you can have no rules, okay? So it's kind of like that. So we're here... Go to C, which is on the fifth fret, which is that second dot. So we're here. Together we stand. You don't even have to do the rock and roll thing, you can just strum. Together we stand, divided we fall. Come on now, people, let's go on the C. Get on the ball and work together. So that's really the whole song. What I want you to start thinking is, is if you're gonna play a C and a D, use your whole hand here and your G, C, and D. It just makes it a lot easier than jumping around with your one finger. It's just, it'll make it a lot easier for you. Um, there's also a G here with a G and a D and a D. So the little trick I was doing in the beginning, this uh... Okay, so first things first, I am focusing entirely on these two strings here, the D and this upper G here. And I'm strumming on those by themselves. It takes a bit of getting used to not to hit that. So when I think of a guitar neck, I think of it as a rounded uh, thing, a convex uh, thing. And what I'm doing is, is I'm just coming down this way on the downhill slope. And that's how I think of a guitar neck. So I'm just aiming for the middle of the guitar and then just hitting these two notes. And as at, you'll start, first off, you'll start out just hitting the first note and then every once in a while hit that second one and just start getting used to hitting these two notes. Okay, it's gonna be really important when you start doing these. Right? So, you know, just aim for these two. So you're gonna put your finger here on this 12th, or this 12th fret D. This is a D. You're gonna to go to C. You're gonna to go to B flat, and you're gonna to go to G. And so you're gonna hit them and, and feel your way through this. So one, two, three. And if you notice.
notice I go with my third finger, first finger, and then slide with my first finger. That way I can reach up with my third finger quicker and get back here. So three, one, one, three, one, one, three, one, one. If I go to G, I can come right back up to the D really quickly with my third finger. It just kind of makes it easier than hunting and pecking. It's, you know, learning how to type and that sort of thing, you start thinking this way. So um, it sounds like... So get used to going back and forth between here when I was uh, 14 years old I'm now uh, 58 when I was 14 years old um, I used to practice going from uh, G to G and then from A to A or a C to C or Whatever it is on the guitar, you know, I used to practice low to high, low to high, low to high, low to high, and every map, every position I can, you know, from here to here. And I can just about get it all the time. And that's just a lot of practice. And of course, you know, young boys have a lot of time and we have less time. So you laser in and focus on these few moves where you're... So when you're, you're focusing in on this and you want to be able to get it. Now you can go from here down and slide. I'll use different fingers and different fingerings. It's just what I feel like. Um, like I said, there's really no real world way to do this. Um, do it your way, but just remember there are tricks to make it faster for learning. And that's what I try to teach you guys. So uh, this is Uncle Mark and the Mothership. Three string cigar box guitar. And I uh, just want to say thank you for everything you do for me. Down in the show notes, there is a uh, virtual tip jar. It's a uh, PayPal forward slash PayPal.me forward slash Uncle Mark Tips. Thank you so much for everything you guys do for me. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, thank you for all your sharing on social media and all the wonderful stuff you do for me. Um, supporting the mothership in any way you can, that always helps. And I really thank you so much. So we'll see you next time.